I got a phone call. I was living in northern Delaware, and uh, my family was in Salisbury. That when I came down, that he had this interesting idea, and he said very simply, "I'm looking to build a bike that when you pedal it, it's like pedaling any bike with a multi-speed hub. There's no drag, but it has a drivetrain, and I push a button, and then I have a." gasoline-powered motor, and I can go off 30, 35 miles an hour. Basically what we have, basically what we have is two drive systems. We have okay. the power drive and the bicycle side. Mm -hmm. All the electrical systems actually will work, whether you're in power mode or pedal mode, so that you could be pedaling around at night, the headlight and the brake yeah. lights and the whole bit. The engine does charge the battery so that okay. It also comes with a charger so that you can charge it at home. It's 50 cc's. Is that 50 cc? Mm -hmm. Wow. Electric start. Wow. And this is your fuel tank. I see. Try it. Tell me what you think about its pedaling ability. You're going to notice a weight difference, oh, yeah. but, but ease of pedaling, I think you'll be surprised. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Twist grip on the right hand sides for the gears. That's really impressive. The maneuver, you lose no maneuverability at all. I was really expecting it to be cumbersome. Go yeah. And it's not. You wanted something that could both be a bike and be motorized that would be um, small enough to fit into the uh, motorized cycles category of transportation and also fit as a bike so that you could, you know, lock it up on campus. You wouldn't have to park it in a parking lot. Right. How heavy is it? Right now we're at about 110 pounds. Our target weight is 75. That's what the MIPS were uh, with the MIPS program now and what they're working on is optimizing our transmission. We actually found the MIPS program through our uh, state representative, Mr. Norman Conway. He put us in contact with uh, Barry Fry and Ronnie Gist. What the Maryland Industrial Partnership is going to do for us is to take our relatively crude transmission and turn it into a production-ready casting so that we can go into full production and sell these vehicles. Yeah, so on, we want to basically focus on this box here um, and how the power is transferred um, through the system, reducing the vibrations inside of here um, so the user doesn't feel as much vibrations when their feet are actually on the pedal here. Their job was absolutely unbelievable. They moved us forward in a six month period of time faster than we had moved forward in two to three years. Plan to use Maryland workers in a Maryland facility. Hopefully we'll have something that's made in the USA. We're really excited about this MIPS project. This project with Dr. Samiri is going to help put this bike to bike on the road and we're really excited to see this company uh, make these bikes and sell them in Maryland. If you can train me to do this, you can train anybody. If you can ride a bike, you can ride a bike too. So why ride a bike when you can ride a bike too? Thank you.